And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. The story is about a man called Jabez. The scripture described him as an honorable man, yet his life was not yielding good results. This continued for a while, not until the day he decided to cry unto the Lord. That's when God heard him, and his life was turned around. This points to the simple fact that, sometimes, God won't do anything concerning what we are passing through in our lives, not until we ask him to step in and help us. Some of us, like Jabez, were given negative names. These names have power and can affect one's life. You may not have been given a negative name, but still, negative words were spoken about you as a child from the mouths of your parents. Words once said have power. We as Christians must fight against any negative words spoken about us. The only one who can help you is God. Like Jabez, we must cry out to the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I worship you for the salvation of my soul. I worship you because I know that any time I call upon you, you will always hear my cry and answer my requests. I thank you for the grace of prayer being made available to all humans. Lord, just like how Jabez was not comfortable with his life and he cried unto you that you should bless him, the same way I'm crying unto you, my God. Bless my life in Jesus' name. Let there be showers of your blessings upon my life in Jesus' name. I rebuke any negative words that may have been spoken about me in your mighty name, Jesus. Those words do not define me and have no power over my life. I am your child, Lord. Please let me be the head and not the tail. Help me, Lord, to be above and not beneath. Help me to be a blessing and not a curse in the lives of my family. The scripture made me to understand in Philippians 4 verse 19 that, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Only you can bless my life, O Lord. That's why I'm praying unto you to supply all my needs and bless my life fully in Jesus' name. Lord, I acknowledge that without your blessings my life is nothing. I know you are the giver of all good things according to James 1 verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. This is why I am praying to you alone. It is your blessing that I need. Your blessing is sufficient enough for me. Perfect my life with your blessings in Jesus' name. According to the prayers of Jabez in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. I'm praying that you enlarge my coast in Jesus' name. Lord, I want an increase in my life, in my finances, in my accomplishment, in every area of my life, if it is in your will, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, increase me, such that I may overflow with your blessings for my life in Jesus' name. I know I am in a wicked world, saturated with evil vices. This is why I am praying that your hands should always be with me in Jesus' name. Your word said in Psalm 91 verse 1, 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This means that you can give me protection in this evil world. I am crying unto you. Lord, let your hand always rest on me. Although I do not see them, I know your angels are protecting me and my family. I thank you, Father, for this wonderful reality that I am protected in more ways than I could ever imagine. I give you all the glory and honor for this in the name of Jesus. I plead and bind his blood against every demonic spirit, the spirit of rebellion, spells, yokes, and wicked declarations, confusion, discouragements, or anything that leads me into an ungodly lifestyle. I shall not be a victim of evil. I shall be victor over life situations in Jesus' name. Just like your hand rested upon Samson and your spirit came upon him to always protect him from the Philistines, may your hand always rest upon my life and protect me from every difficult situation in Jesus' name. Ephesians 5 verse 16 Redeeming the time because the days are evil. I'm praying that you keep me from evil in Jesus' name. Your word in the scriptural verse I just read makes me to understand that the days are full of evil. Only you can keep me safe. In you is my protection guaranteed. Always keep me safe in Jesus' name. According to your word, you will give your angels charge over me to keep me safe, to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they shall bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. Fulfill this scripture in my life from henceforth in Jesus' name. Let your angels always watch over me and keep me safe in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for fighting my battles and I decree and declare that if you, God, be for me, who can be against me? And nothing shall separate me from the love of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the knowledge that greater is you that is in me than him who is in the world. And I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loved me. As I pray, Lord, may your Holy Spirit help me in my infirmities and intercede on my behalf with groanings that cannot be uttered, for he is the only one who knows what to say in a prayer of warfare according to the will of God. Thank you, Father God, for your promises. For in Exodus 14, verse 14, you have promised that you will fight for me and that I will hold my peace. Thank you, mighty God, for your promises. In Isaiah 43, you said, O God, you have called me by your name, and I am yours, and that when I pass through waters, you will be with me, and when I go through rivers, they shall not overflow me. When I walk through the fire, I shall not be burnt, nor shall any flame scorch me. I thank you, Lord, for being there for me always. Indeed, you are the defender of God's elect. Thank you, Lord, God for these promises which assure me protection and that I am safe in your hands. God, I am also praying for those around me. Please keep them safe from all evils in Jesus' name. I am interceding for those that are around me. Please keep them safe from adversities in Jesus' name. No evil shall befall those around me in Jesus' name. Your word said, in Mark 11, verse 24, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. John 14, verse 14, If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. With faith, I believe all of my requests are being granted. In Jesus' name, Amen.